Hey y'all, it's Adi and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be trying to do our makeup for the first time since damn near 2018. And when I say makeup, I have been wearing concealer and usually I just go ahead and just clean up my eyebrows with some concealer. But today we're doing the whole powder, you know, the whole shebang. But we are missing some products, so let's get into it. If you are new here, my name is Adi. I do lifestyle hair and vlog content. If you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe and I hope you guys join the family. All right, so recently I did go to Sephora. If you watch my vlog, then you would know that. Yes, I went to Sephora and I got some essentials, some new foundation, some concealer, cause I was all out, etc. And we went ahead and got our makeup match. So we're gonna try getting back into the whole makeup thing. I used to be like a makeup fanatic back when I was 18, 17 years old. And for some reason, I kind of like fell off for like, I don't know why, I just, got tired of it i do things in phases you feel me so we're gonna try to get into it right now so first we're gonna start off by priming our face as you can see i have a lot of dark spots due to the acne i've endured for the last two years we're getting up close and personal guys so you know we like this at this point so we're gonna go ahead with our elf primer and this primer i've seen a lot of good reviews about it on TikTok, YouTube, and it's very affordable, so I went ahead and bought that. I was going for the milk primer that everybody uses, and then we're just gonna mix that in. I watched a tutorial before I started doing my makeup. I watched uh, several tutorials. Fatima Ba, to be exact. She has a very nice, soothing voice. So yeah, I just mixed that in. Now we're going to move on to the eyebrows. So I'm going for like a laminated look and I kind of like the soap brow look. I'm going to try to do that. We're using the e.l.f. soap brow and I already wet it already. So we're going to take our spoolie and just rub it in there. Make sure we get a lot of product on the spoolie because that's what the tutorial said. <laughs> and we're just going to go in and brush upwards. Kind of looking like Goku here. So she said to then brush them down in this fashion. All right, this is what the eyebrows look like. They kind of look nice, I'm not gonna lie. For my first time, I think I'm doing pretty good so far. I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil. So I got the Milani eyebrow pencil. Go in and try to fill in the sparse areas. We're gonna try to fix this off camera, so I'll be back. All right, so I just applied my concealer. It's in the shade 430. I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. And I think I put it on like kind of crazily, if that's a word, but we're gonna try to blend this out. Now, I understand why these makeup artists or makeup YouTubers, they like to do their eyebrows off camera. This is pretty stressful. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job, don't you think? Like for my first time doing soap brows. I'm just gonna blend it out and I'm using a RT, a real time brush to blend it out. We're gonna go back and try to use the beauty blender to make sure I press all this concealer in. I like to let my concealer sit and get a little tacky before I blend it in. I don't know, I just feel like it has a better finish. So I went ahead and added my foundation. I'm using the Pat McGrath foundation in the shade Deep 30. All right, so instead of adding concealer to my forehead, I was told to just use the makeup that's already on the brush and just buff it out. 
Now we're gonna go in with our Fenty Concealer in the shade 430. I'm gonna try to go for like a winged under eye look so that I can have a more lifted. I don't want, you know, the concealer to drag my face down. So I'm gonna go under the eye. And I thought this was way too bright at first, but when the lady at the store, her name was Melissa, she was a Fenty rep. When she matched me at the store and she blended it out, I was completely confident in this color. So I just go under, try to do like a winged look. And then I was told to like, when you're doing your makeup, try to go up by your nose so that you could, your nose could look snatched. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. I'm gonna let the concealer get a bit tacky before blending it out so that way I could have a better finish. I'm gonna use my fan to dry it out a bit. As I'm waiting for my concealer to finish setting, I'm going to contour my face. I have the Black Radiance Contour Palette. I have the Cream Edition. I also have the Powder Edition. I wanna go with the Cream one, but I think I'm gonna try the Powder because Powder might capture my skin a bit better. I don't have the correct brush, so don't come for me. My brushes come on Wednesday, but I was just so eager to do this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and try. Now we're gonna go in and try to contour our nose. I don't have another flat brush, I can't find it. Like I said, my brushes come on Wednesday. So we're just gonna go and follow the pattern. From your eyebrows they said and go all the way down so i'm going to blend out my makeup i don't have a flat brush so we're going to use this spare brush i don't know what it's supposed to do but we're going to try to get the same results <laughs> okay Now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender to blend it out a bit more. Now we're going to reverse contour. I don't have a second contour and since I don't have like a flat brush, I'm going to just apply it from my ear all the way down to right here, not too close to my mouth. So we're gonna go in with our powder now. I'm using the Fenty powder in the color Nutmeg. I just pour some onto my hand, my beauty blender, and just roll it on to the beauty blender. We're gonna go deep under my eye. I just realized I forgot to set my makeup. Basically, you're supposed to set the creams before you put on the setting powder, but oh well. So I already lined my lips with the lip liner, so I'm gonna go in with the NYX Butter Gloss. But we're gonna go ahead and just overline the lip liner. Then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. I think this was called Pink Cosmo. I think I'm satisfied. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I think I kind of like it. Like, despite the fact that I don't have the blush and I don't have a couple contours and baking powder, I think this came out pretty good. I'm gonna add lashes now. I'm gonna do my lashes off camera. So I got these lashes off of Amazon. They look okay on me. They have like a variety of like different sizes and you know, different styles. So we're gonna try to pick the one that I think would look the best on me. Wish me luck. So I just put on my lashes. I'm gonna let them dry now.
This is the finished look. I think I did a pretty good job being the fact that I haven't done this in a while. Of course, there is still room for a lot of improvement. Look close enough, one of my lashes isn't even on all the way. <laughs> I tried my hardest. If you want to see more of me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.